go ahead and stop here. Let's go ahead and do our checklist. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So. Ready you on? Okay. No, that radio is pretty low. Um, pitch trim set to neutral. And. Alright, there we go. And altimeter set. So. Um, oh! So, I was looking, and uh, we always set this to 2715, right? Yes. Uh, that's not the field elevation here, so... Could be 2715. Uh, no, it's like 3800 the last time I checked. No. Because I was, I was really confused about that. I'm not sure what you were looking at. Hold on. So Fortier Field, 2717, get there. Oh. Okay. Now your pattern altitude would be that. So is that something you were looking at? Oh, actually, I was just looking at the U.S. Geological Survey the other day. We're down here in from, our, from my house. Oh, well, I mean, different, did you have this exact spot? You know what I mean? Like, we've got a lot of varying terrain just between... Us to the ghost town is a little yeah. bit different of an altitude. So this yeah. is what you always go by this because this is what it's not going to be on a map unless it's been approved. Okay, so this is an approved runway, and so you have to go off of that, not uh, not something else. You have to go off what's been approved for the. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Car so heat is off, right? Yep. Car heat is off. Okay. Okay. And. Engine to idle, seatbelt secure. Hey, you missed something. For takeoff checklist. Uh. Let me double check that I'm not wrong. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Okay, so. Yeah. Huh. What's okay. the very first thing? So, flight control screen, correct? Yep. Okay. Up, up. Elevator. And rudders are good already. So checklists are great, but it is common, since we all make mistakes as humans, to get used to a checklist and think that we can just go through it real fast. So we need to consciously think about each item and do it, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. That's that, so? So, wait, oh, one second, sorry. So, I'm trying to get you ready for your check ride, okay? So, yes, when you, we're not... A, you know, we're not an official, like, we're not a big airport, so when you go do your test, you're going to have a little more options of things that you're supposed to do. So I'm going to try to get it as similar as possible. Yes, ma'am. So you're supposed to do your pre-flight with your nose into the wind, okay? So right now, we do have our nose into the wind. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then, what you want to do is check for traffic, okay, when you go to get yes, on the runway. So first, let's go ahead out and do a turn, a full 360 turn, okay, and just do a turn to the left and do a full turn around to check for traffic okay. and then line up with the runway and make your radio call. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm going to start that turn now. Okay, well, I didn't see any traffic to jump. Looks clear to me. All right. All right. Uh, we already know flight to close to correct, so. Oh. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, it's dead, so. And it just dies? Is that what it yeah, did? that's what it was saying. Okay. okay. Well, it's going to probably take some time to charge. We've got the master on, so we'll just give it some time to charge. All right. Go ahead and just, you check for traffic, so let's All right. do it. All right, here we go. Take forward. That was a very low 
all airspeed to take off. Yes, ma'am. You gotta keep that stick forward to keep your nose down or the tail is going, you're gonna lift up prematurely. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm a little off here at 3,000. Check for traffic. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and my left turn. What's your airspeed? 80. Okay, so now I'm gonna start climbing again, right? Got to maintain your climb speed of 70 after, it's just a quick lower your nose and then you put it back into a climb. Yes ma'am. Okay. Make my next turn. Good job. So what's this leg called again? This is, I don't know, is this like a... This a, will be your upwind. Okay, upwind. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and load my nose, get 85, and start this turn two. Okay, power back to 22.5. Good job. Alright. And power is back, 3,500 feet, 85 miles an hour. All right, oil pressure and temperature, well, actually, oil temperature is coming up, but it's, it's a little slow right now, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. All right, and landing checklist is, okay, uh, I'm getting a little slow here. All right, so 85 Don't miles. Don't get too far from your downwind. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start that turn then. So, fuel on, primer locked. Power feet on. Oop, lost the launch out to there. Okay. Don't check with second. Okay. So fuel is on, primer is locked, power feet on, power back, maintain fifty. So look up a little bit close to the runway still, huh? I think you're doing all right, okay. so just do a shallow banks though, okay? Yes, ma'am. Oh. So go ahead and fly perpendicular right now. So go ahead okay. and fly perpendicular with the runway. Go ahead and keep turning. Yes, ma'am. To the left, to the left, to the left. Oh, per perpendicular. Yeah, perpendicular. not sorry. parallel, sorry. Now fly straight here. Straight perpendicular. So now we can see that we are low, so you're going to add power. Ma'am. Don't get slow, though. Yes, ma'am. Or fast. Maintain 55 with your pitch. Power is for altitude, pitch is for speed. Yes, ma'am. More power. Nose down, more power. Go ahead and make your turn for final. Okay. So I think I was too close to rubbing on this one, huh? You're fine. Okay. Get lined up. And then pull back your power. Maintain 55. Okay, 55. Okay, go ahead and start your flare. Okay. Not too high though, just a little bit. A little bit more, just to hold it there. Okay. Hold it there, now back, all the way back, all the way back to the stop. Right rudder. Okay.
Oh. That was quite lined up. My airplane, okay? Your airplane. Wait a second. All right. All right. Try it again. All right. Did it seem like I was too fast on calling in on that one? You can, we can try for 50. Okay. The thing is, is um, I'm nervous with you because you get off of your airspeed and you lose a lot of speed and then you gain a lot of speed. So we can't get too slow. You have a tendency to get all the way down to 40 and we're going to stall the airplane. So the reason I've had you approach at that speed is because you tend to get distracted and not maintain your airspeed. Yes, ma'am. We can approach at 50, but do not get below 50. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and when you're flaring, you do a little bit, you hold it, let the airplane come down a little bit more. Then you do a little bit more, a little bit more, and you have to hit the stop all the way back. Yes, ma'am. And in that situation, you weren't doing proper crosswind control. So you have to be putting a little bit of right aileron in because we have a we have wind coming from our right, okay? Yes, ma'am. So that was why your nose was kind of pointed to the right. Yes, and we landed a little wonky because you didn't have your wing down. Instead, you had your nose into the wind, okay? Yes, ma'am. But there was a lot, of, a lot of mistakes that we made, but we'll work on it, okay? Yes, ma'am. You want to give yourself plenty of length on that final approach so that you can see how your airplane's being pushed and what control inputs you need for landing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And turn around again. So as I left the car beat on. Okay, so that stick needs to be full forward, okay? Put it all the way forward. You're yes, letting the airplane take off too soon, okay? Yes, ma'am. At least, you need to at least see 50, okay, before you pull up. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's okay. do it. Clear left, clear right. I don't see Car anything. Heartbeat is off. Heartbeat is off. Trim is set for takeoff. Trim is still set for takeoff. I didn't set it at all in flight, so. Okay, go ahead. All right. A little bit of left aileron. There you go. Now pull up. Okay, that was better. That was good. That was just right at 40. Okay, 3,000, I'm going to lower my nose, check for traffic, clear left, all right. Trying to make more shallow turns, you're making really steep turns. Yes, ma'am. We want to try to fly a rectangular course with the runway, okay? Yes, a rectangular pattern all the way around. Yes, ma'am. Try to make your left turn. I do have the GPS with me again today, so it's recording my pattern work again. Okay. Okay, there's 3,500, so I'm going to go ahead and lower the nose. Get that 85, start banking over here. Okay. Bring the power back. Whoa. Okay. 25, 3,500 feet. All right. Fuel is on, primer is locked. Car heat is on, but it will be on for the landing. Maintaining 85 miles an hour, 3,500 feet, scanning for traffic. Keeping 
All right, and left turn for downwind. So you can approach at 45 on this, but just maintain 45. I just don't want you to. Get, I don't want to see you get slower than that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. 45 would be optimal. I'm just nervous you're going to get lower than that. So maintain 45. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So starting to get near there. Somebody start slowing down a little bit. This is looking good. All right. And car Pete. Fifty. Go ahead and go to forty five is fine. Okay. Ooh, don't get lower. Okay. Car Pete on? Yes, sir. Ma'am, sorry. You're fine. On. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and trim to help you out some. Okay. Okay, I'm a little far out right now, so I'm just going to start that bank. So angle your nose a little more towards the runway, because you're okay. far out. Okay. Go straight now, I'm trying to fly a rectangular course. So our altitude is already 3,000, so let's add some power. Yes, ma'am. Stay to the right. Don't get close to the runway. Yes, you don't have any distance to come in. Yes, don't get too slow. Don't get too slow. All right, make your turn. Okay, we've got pretty much a direct right crosswind, so you're going to have to put either on input when you start your flare. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start that now. Okay, keep that nose down a little bit. A little bit of right aileron. There you go. All the way back. Right aileron. Right aileron. Ooh. All right, that was better. Got to get the stick all the way to the stop, though, okay? Yes, ma'am. Before you touch down. Yes, ma'am. Stick back, and they're on into the wind. Okay. Repeat off. Good. Okay, they're on into the wind. Seems like the wind is picking up strength a little bit, isn't it? Yep. Right. Got a good crosswind. Good day for crosswind practice. Okay.
Good job. All right, and when we get up here, we're going to talk a little bit about it, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to try to fly a more rectangular course, okay? So when you hit 3,000, you're doing a you're doing like a 45 degree angle bank, okay? Yes, I want a nice shallow, no more than 20 degree angle of bank once you hit 3,000, okay? Yes, ma'am. So we do a nice smooth 20 degree angle of bank, and the reason we do that is we're trying to fly fly a nice rectangular course. So if you do that real steep turn, you're going to be too close to the runway, and you're not going to be a half mile distance away from the runway, okay? Yes, ma'am. So we want to fly a nice rectangular course, and that's even where we're setting up for landing. So when you get to a beam the runway, you do everything the same, except you want to make a good left-hand turn and then fly straight yes, perpendicular to the runway. Do you understand what I mean yes, by sir. perpendicular yes, like I'm this, sorry, okay? Like that's fine. What you're tending to do is you are, you're, fly, you're, you're kind of crabbing like this, okay? But it's not a it's not a nice crab where like we're crabbing a straight line. It's more so just it's just not straight. I want to see yes, a straight sir. perpendicular. You make that turn, perpendicular turn, fly straight, and then once we have our wing directly perpendicular to the runway at 3,000 feet, that's a good time to start making our turn. Okay. Yes, sir. So right now, um, let's see. We've got the wind coming pushing against us, and so far, you've done pretty good about lining yourself up, but you're not giving yourself enough distance away from the runway, and you're coming too close from that base leg to final leg. You're too close to the end of the runway. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so try to keep yourself away. Try to give yourself that time to really see what your glide slope looks like. Don't hug that runway yes, um, from base to final. Yes, ma'am. Okay, one other thing. Let's um, okay, so we're going to approach at 45, <clears throat> and you're going to make sure that you put your aileron into the wind when you're landing. It's tough, you know. Here, let me show you something. So, you're here, and you're setting up for a landing. You're maintaining 45. Understand, when you have power in, and you take off that power from base to final, you're going to need to lower your nose some to maintain 45, because we have less throttle, right? Yes, ma'am. So, you've got to maintain that altitude and we do, or that speed, and we do that with pitch, okay? So if you're getting slow, you push your nose down. That's that's all that has to happen. I don't care what you do with the throttle. Speed is with your pitch, and then height is with your throttle, okay? Yes, if you see that you're low, you use throttle. Yes, ma'am. So when we start our flare, yes, we've got our wing into the wind, okay? It doesn't have to be full aileron, just a little bit, enough, okay? Not neutral. A little bit, we maintain center line, that's our number one goal. Yes, and we bring it right here, we wait for a moment, we let the airplane come down a little bit more, we bring it to here, we wait a moment, and then before we touch down, the stick has to be at the full stop. If you're right here, let's say you're here, you're about to land, you still gotta catch it. You gotta get all the way back, yes, okay? All right, so stick forward yeah. into the wind, so left into the wind. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I've been watching for traffic and little kids, and I think we're good. Good. So, Heartbeat's off. Heartbeat is off. And trim set for takeoff. And our fuel looks good. All right. Let's do it. You got this. All let's right. Make it a good one. Yes, ma'am. All right. So we go. Right rudder, right rudder.
traffic. We're good on traffic, so it's going to make a smooth bank this time. That looks good. See how close you just got to the runway? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so nose down for 80. Okay, 22.5. Okay, go over your checklist. Okay. So, fuel on, primer locked, copy on, approach 50, 60 miles an hour, and clear engine every 200 feet. Okay, that's right. something we've been missing. So, from yes, your sir. base to final, you have to clear the engine right. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter downwind now. Maintain your altitude. Sir. Okay. Fuel is on, primer locked, repeat on. And power to idle now. And 45. So go ahead and trim yourself for 45. Okay. Start making a shallow bank to the left. I'll straighten out here. Looking good. So I can already tell that we're going to be maybe a little low, so make sure you stay to the right okay. and add a little bit of power, but maintain 45. Yes, ma'am. Stay to the right. All right. Well, we made our mark of 3,000. Let's turn to the left. Go ahead and leave that power on when you turn from base to final. Yeah. Just for safety, okay? Yeah. All right. Right rudder. Taylor on. Take your power back. All the way back. Get lined up with the runway. Still got a right crosswind, so keep that in mind. Yes, ma'am. Don't get fast. Make sure you maintain 45. Don't get slow, though, either, okay? Yes, ma'am. That's okay. Okay. Right aileron, right rudder. Okay, all the way back. I kind of landed that for you because you made me yeah. nervous. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So you do just enough aileron to maintain center line. You don't have to do full aileron unless you do have a 20 knot crosswind, then you might have to do full aileron. Yes, sir. But you set up really good. You were really close to it.
but make sure that you put enough right rudder in, okay? Because you let yourself get too far to the left. Just because you have a little bit of left aileron in doesn't mean you don't need to maintain center line, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Oh. Kind of do a check over, make sure everything's off. Or I mean, carbon's right. off. Primer locked. Go on. Still got plenty of fuel. The camera's still on. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Okay. And you see belt's still secure and all that kind of stuff. Um. You see belt's still good, Jeanette? Yep, I'm good. Grass. Good. All right. All right, we're good. And I don't see any traffic. All right. Here we go again. Take forward. You let your left wing come up, okay? Don't do that. Yes, ma'am. I just realized my mic wasn't working, so I'm a little high here, so I'm going to reduce the power back. making a turn. We've been a little low each time. I can kind yeah. of tell you're going to be low again, so go ahead and add some power. Stay to the right, though. Don't get too close to the runway. Then yes, you, sir. We've been turning in too close, and so it's all been rushed for you, so stay yes, to the sir. right more.
look high, okay? So go ahead and reduce your power. Lower your nose, though. Okay, this is looking good. You gave yourself some straightaway. That's good. Try to make your turn for final. Try to line yourself up. Don't get too much of a turn. Do a little bit more of a right here. Try to maintain that right. To the right there. Right aileron, right rudder. Okay, okay now turn. Left. Okay, how's our airspeed? 40. Okay, let's try to get to 45. Just okay. a little bit. Take much. Okay. Okay. Get that nose down. There you go. Okay. Slowly apply back pressure. Right aileron, right. There you go. All the way back, all the way back. Oh. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I will let you know, see the wind's a little gusty, okay? So it does make it tough today. Yes, all right, but I wanted you to get some practice with it, okay? Yes, so my airplane. Your airplane. So I'm going to show you how I want to see this done, okay? Okay. Since the wind is hitting me directly from the right right now, I just need to put my wind, my aileron into the wind. I don't yes, have to put it back right now, just as long as it's yes, into the wind is our goal, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, carpet off. Carpet off. All right, fuel is on. And fuel is on, primer is locked. Like, fuels look good, altimeter is set. Let's go ahead and put it up to 2720. Okay, so really focus on me, okay, Niall? Yes, focus sir. on what I'm doing as hard yes, as you can, okay? Yes, sir. Oil temperature, oil pressure looks good, yes, all right? I'm going to put a little bit of aileron in. It doesn't require much. I'm going to yes, keep sir. that stick forward, okay? Yes, I'm actually pushing against the stick a little bit, okay? Yes, ma'am. Right about there, I'm going to lift off. See how I maintained straight with the runway? I didn't go to the left. I didn't go to the right. I didn't let my wing pick up, okay? I had just yes, enough aileron in to make sure that I stayed center line. That's your focus, center line, okay? Yes, ma'am. They're climbing about 70 right now. That's what we want. Okay. Okay, right here, I lower the nose, I check for traffic. I then raise my nose, I clear left. I make a shallow bank here, okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm a little slow. I think this thing does like to climb at 60. Let's climb it at 60. I yes, think that's better. Shallow turn, okay? So see okay. how I'm already perpendicular to the runway? This is what we want, okay? A nice yes, lineup, nice rectangular course. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it looks like I'm about a half mile now, so let's just make a nice shallow bank this way. Yes, ma'am. So I'm always, I'm always checking around. I never stay focused on one thing because as soon as you focus on one thing, you lose another, okay? I'm approaching 3,500. I put my nose where it goes. I'm not chasing my speed. I don't even, I can't even see the speed back here, okay? But I'm not chasing it. I looked outside the cockpit as to where I'm supposed to be, okay? Yes, All right. 
So I got pushed in a little bit. Oh, okay, so that tells me that I got a little bit of a right crosswind. Okay, so that's duly noted there because I got pushed close to the runway. That's it. I'm checking back in, 3500. Go ahead and read me my checklist. Okay. Fuel on, primer locked, RV on, approach at 50 to 60 miles an hour, and clear engine by opening throttle during descent every 200 to 250 feet. Okay, we're going to make sure we clear that throttle right. That's something you've been missing each time, okay? Yes, ma'am. I get through that checklist because I want to make sure I'm looking back out to make sure that I don't miss my turn for downwind. Yes, ma'am. 3,500, that looks good. T's and P's are good. Great. Let's make a nice shallow turn to the left here. Yes, ma'am. Now, I know that the wind, because of my first up, where I was at upwind, I was getting pushed away, so I know my wind is going to be hitting me on the left side, okay? So yes, let's just crab just a little bit into the wind with my nose. Yes, ma'am. So I want to make sure I fly a nice straight line with the runway. Yes, ma'am. All right, look, altitude perfect. That's what we want. Yes, ma'am. My wings are directly abeam the runway. Go ahead and take the carburetor heat on for me. Okay. Wow, we just barely missed a bird right now. See that? Oh, you you got the side up there. I can't see up there. Uh, okay, yeah. It's on you. All right, a little bit of up trim. Throttle all the way back. Okay. Approach at 45. Okay. You can tell I'm a little high. Yeah. I kind of left my power on a little too long. We were talking about the bird. But I still need to get to 45. I got my throttle all the way back. Starting to look a little bit better now. A little more up trim for me. Okay, I got it. Good. All right, again, I'm looking out with my altitude. Looks you like are I'm still a little high. Yeah. Well, I meant, I'm sorry, in reference to outside. Okay. But this is still pretty good. See how I've got about a half mile. I've got a wingtip distance between before I turn in for the runway. That's what we want. That way we have a nice straight approach in, yes, and we can get ready for landing instead of rushing it. Yes, ma'am. 3,000, perfect. That's what I want. That's when I start turning in. I've got my nose crabbed into the wind, okay? Yes, See that? That way I maintain center line. See how strong that wind is now? Yes, ma'am. And it's gusty. Nose is still crabbed into the wind. Okay, I'm going to switch here. I'm going to start my flare, and I'm going to have my wing tip down. Yes, All right. Maintaining center here. And I start my flare. Stick all the way back. That was not good. But the goal is to make sure that you have that wing tip down, especially when it's gusty, okay? Yes, ma'am. That was actually fine. The goal is to have the wing down. Yes, ma'am. When it's this gusty, if you don't have that wing down, then there's a really big risk for you to get toppled over, okay? So yes, you at least got to have that wing down when you land to be safe. Yes, ma'am. It looks like the wind is starting to change, kind of just going between. Yeah, this is one of the. This is really one of the tougher days to land, but it's good that you get some practice on it because with it, because when you do go off solo, you need to be able to do it. Yes, ma'am. I'm not going to be there, so. Yes, ma'am. Just remember, have that wing down when you land, and you're going to be pretty safe. Yes, ma'am. And make sure you hit the stop. Yes, ma'am. And on a gusty day, it's actually even good to come in with a little bit of power. Maintain 45, but come in with a little bit of power, okay? That helps yes, with the gusty day when you're getting bumped around. Yes, ma'am. All right, good job today. It was a challenging day, but you did great. All right. You still want to keep flying, or do you feel like you're done? Nope, we're going to call that a day there. Okay. The wind's starting to get pretty difficult. Okay. So.
got to challenge, be challenged with it today. All so. Shut her down. All right. Engine idle. Bags off. Turn the car beat off. Bugs out. <laughs> 